Uh, dear friends, I am Dr. K. Kannan, Professor Mechanical Engineering, Anjali Ammal Mahalingan Engineering College, Kovil Vinni. I am happy to meet you through the video lecture series on the subject, Heat and Mass Transfer. And uh, this is module number 5. We are discussing on radiation heat transfer. Uh, today it is lecture number 8 on radiation shield. So we recap from the previous lecture. Uh, we discussed the radiation heat transfer between two black surfaces and the radiation heat transfer between two gray surfaces. And we solved a few problems on the uh, theory. Heat transfer between black surfaces and heat transfer between gray surfaces. And today we are going to discuss the radiation shield. And at the end of the lecture, uh, the student uh, you will be able to solve problem on the radiation shield. So understand what is radiation shield, uh, how this radiation shield is affecting the uh, radiation heat transfer between the two surfaces and uh, uh, you will be able to solve problems on the radiation shield on your own. And uh, this is what we discussed. There are two surfaces, surface 1, surface 2. Uh, surface 1 is at uh, temperature T1 of area A1 with the emissivity epsilon 1 and surface 2 uh, of area A2 with the temperature T2 and the emissivity epsilon 2 uh, they exchange heat by radiation. So you surface 1 and 2 they exchange heat by radiation and for this situation we can calculate what is the amount of heat transfer. So from the uh, previous lectures we can calculate uh, what is the heat transfer without the radiation shield. Now we introduce a third surface called radiation shield. Uh, the radiation shield normally it is of uh, lower emissivity, higher reflectivity. Uh, the radiation shield specifically is inserted between two surfaces uh, to minimize the radiation heat transfer between uh, these two surfaces 1 and 2. Uh, particularly in the nuclear reactor, uh, there is a shield, radiation shield uh, to prevent the radiation uh, from the reactor to the surrounding. And the radiation shield, it has got the property, A3 is the area, T3 is the temperature and uh, there are two emissivity, emissivity on the left side which is facing the surface 1, epsilon 3 1 and the emissivity on the right side which is facing the surface 2, epsilon 3 2. So the temperature, the uh, shield is very thin, so the temperature and the area are equal, uh, the emissivity epsilon 3 1 on the left side and epsilon 3 2 on the right side which is facing the surface 2. Now we have to draw the network, uh, the radiation network for this arrangement and this is what the network and these are all the uh, potential values. So this is EB1, a black body emissive for of the surface 1 and J1 is the radiosity of the surface uh, 1 and uh, EB3 is the emissivity of the uh, surface 3, J31 is the radiosity of the surface 3 uh, facing 1 and EB2 is black body emissive power of the surface 2 and J2 is the radiosity of the surface 2 and J32 is the radiosity of the surface uh, 3 facing or uh, transmitting radiation uh, to the surface 2. Now the resistance between the emissive uh, EB1 and J1 that is the surface resistance of the first surface 1 minus epsilon 1 divided by a1 epsilon 1. This is the surface resistance of the surface 1. And here 1 minus epsilon 2 divided by A2 epsilon 2. So this is the second surface and it has got the surface resistance 1 minus epsilon 2 divided by A2 epsilon 2. And uh, similarly the surface 3 uh, facing the surface 1. This is 1 minus epsilon 3 1 divided by A3 epsilon 3 1. And the other side 1 minus epsilon 3 2 divided by A3 epsilon 3 2. And the shear factor resistance between 1 and 3 is 1 by A1 F13 and between surface 2 and 3 uh, 1 by A2 F23. So there are 4 surface resistances and 2 shear factor resistances. Now the heat transfer between uh, the two, these 2 surface, surface 1 and 2 with the radiation shield. So this is surface resistance 1, shear factor resistance 1, surface resistance of the third surface facing the 1. Surface resistance of third surface of facing 2 is shear factor resistance 
and this is the surface resistance for the uh, second surface uh, in the radiation free transfer process. Now, we have to simplify. We assume the plate are of equal area A1 equal to A2 equal to A3 equal to A. So, all the value area are equal and we assume the plates are long parallel plates. So, F13 equal to F31 equal to F23 equal to F32 equal to 1. So, the shear factor, shear, I mean, uh, view factor or the shear factor between the uh, the three plates are equal to 1. That means all the radiation leaving the surface 1 is falling on the surface 3 and all the radiation leaving the surface 2 is also falling on the surface 3. So, the, there is no le leakage. So, all the radiation is falling on the adjacent plate. So, in this situation, the net exchange between the these, these two surfaces, this equation simplified, this equation simplified like this. So, Q net, net heat transfer between the two surfaces, uh, sigma A into T1 to the power 4 minus T2 to the power 4, there is no change in the numerator. Denominator, uh, 1 by epsilon 1 plus 1 by epsilon 2 minus 1 plus 1 by epsilon 3 1 plus 1 by epsilon 3 2 minus 1. So, this is the heat transfer with the radiation, with radiation shield. Now, you look at this equation, in the denominator, the second term is due to the radiation shield. Suppose there is no radiation shield, epsilon 3 1, epsilon 3 2, they are not uh, available in the equation and the second term is completely dropped. So, I will get 1 by epsilon 1 plus 1 by epsilon 2 minus 1. That is what the radiation heat transfer without the shield. When you add the shield here, uh, there is an additional resistance in the denominator which is given by the emissivity of the radiation shield. And in uh, some cases, we assume all the emissivities are equal, uh, particularly in the nuclear reactor application, we assume that we have the surfaces with equal emissivity. Uh, in that equation, in that case, the equation is simplified like this. Sigma A into T1 to the power 4 minus T2 to the power 4 divided by 2 into 2 by epsilon minus 1. So, from the previous equation, uh, simplifying, so putting uh, all the value epsilon 1, epsilon 2, epsilon 3, 1, epsilon 3, 2 are equal to epsilon we will get the simplified version. Now, this is the, there is only one shield. Why there is a one here in the bracket? This is one shield. So, need to transfer with the one shield is equal to sigma A uh, T1 to the power 4 minus T2 to the power 4 divided by 2 into 2 by epsilon minus 1. Suppose we generalize the equation, if we have n shield, this equation may be written as uh, net to heat transfer for n shield equal to sigma A into T1 to the power 4 minus T2 to the power 4 divided by n plus 1. So, here this 2 is for 1 shield, 1 plus 1 is 2. So, here I write n plus 1, n is the number of shield into 2 by epsilon minus 1. So, this is the heat transfer, net heat transfer for uh, n number of shield in the uh, arrangement. Now, the net heat exchange between the concentric cylinder and the sphere when the radiation shield is inserted between them, uh, which is given by uh, Q net equal to uh, sigma A1. Uh, into T1 to the power 4 minus T2 to the power 4 divided by 1 by epsilon 1 plus A1 by A2 into 1 by epsilon 2 minus 1 plus A1 by A3 into 1 by epsilon 3 1 plus 1 by epsilon 3 2 minus 1 where A1 is the area of the uh, first cylinder, A2 is the area of the shield and A3 is the area of the, uh, the extreme height cylinder. And we take some numerical example. Consider two large parallel plates, one at T1 Kelvin with the emissivity of 0.8 and other at T2 Kelvin with the emissivity of 0.3. An aluminium radiation shield with the emissivity of 0 0.06 is placed between the plates. Calculate the percentage reduction in the heat transfer rate resulting from the radiation shield. So, here the temperatures are not given. So, we are given only the emissivity. Emissivity of the first plate epsilon 1 equal to 0.8. Emissivity of the second plate epsilon 2 equal to 0.3 and emissivity of the third plate epsilon 3 equal to 0 0.06. And the net heat transfer without radiation shield uh, Eb1 minus Eb2 uh, divided by 1 by epsilon 1 plus 1 by epsilon 2 minus 1 and substituting uh, Eb1 minus Eb2 divided by 1 by 0 0.8 plus 1 by 0 0.3 minus 1 this equal to 0 0.279 into Eb1 minus Eb, Eb2. And the heat transfer with radiation shield uh, Q dash equal to Eb1 minus Eb2 divided by 
1 by epsilon 1 plus 1 by epsilon 2 minus 1 plus 1 by epsilon 3 1 plus 1 by epsilon 3 2 minus 1. Uh, substituting all the values, uh, 1 by 0.8 plus 1 by 0.3 minus 1 uh, plus 1 by 0 0.06 plus 1 by 0 0.06 minus 1. Uh, this is equal to 1.0278 into EB1 minus EB2. Now, the percentage reduction of the heat transfer Q minus Q dash divided by Q, which is 0 0.279 EB1 minus EB2 minus 0 0.0278 EB1 minus EB2 divided by 0 0.279 EB1 minus EB2. So, here EB1 minus EB2 is a common term is getting cancelled into 100 equal to 90 percent. So, the answer to the problem, the percentage of reduction of the heat transfer is 90 percent. And the example number 20, consider two large parallel plates, one at 900 Kelvin with the emissivity of 0.8, other at 300 Kelvin with the emissivity of 0.6. The radiation shield is placed between these two plates with the emissivity of 0.2 on both sides. Uh, calculate the reduction in heat transfer between the plates as a result of radiation shield and also determine the equilibrium temperature of the radiation shield. So, we are given emissivity of the first plate is 0.8, emissivity of the second plate is 0.6, emissivity of the shield equal to 0.2 and temperature of the first plate is 900 Kelvin and temperature of the second plate is 300 Kelvin. Now, the radiation heat exchange between the two surfaces without the radiation shield uh, Q by A equal to uh, sigma into uh, T1 to the power 4 minus T2 to the power 4 divided by uh, 1 by epsilon 1 minus plus 1 by epsilon 2 minus 1 which is equal to 5.67 10 power minus 8 and 900 to the power 4 minus 300 to the power 4 uh, divided by 1 by 0 0.8 plus 1 by 0 0.6 minus 1 which is 19,169.5 watts per meter square. The radiation heat transfer with the radiation shield per unit area which is Q dash by A equal to sigma T1 to the power 4 minus T2 to the power 4 uh, divided by 1 by epsilon 1 plus 1 by epsilon 2 minus 1 plus 1 by epsilon 3 1 plus 1 by epsilon 3 2 minus 1. Uh, substituting the values uh, 5.67 10 power minus 8 into 900 to the power 4 minus 300 to the power 4 uh, divided by uh, 1 by 0 0.8 plus 1 by 0 0.6 minus 1 plus 1 by 0 0.2 plus 1 by 0 0.2 minus 1 and uh, calculating it is 3019.8 watts per meter square. The reduction in the heat transfer between the plate uh, Q minus Q dash equal to 19169.5 minus 3019.8 equal to 16149.7 uh, watts. Then the equilibrium temperature between the uh, temperature of the radiation shield. So, the first part of the equation uh, from the first plate to the uh, radiation shield, the heat transfer equation sigma equal to T1 to the power 4 minus T2 to the power 4 divided by 1 by epsilon 1 plus 1 by epsilon 3 1 minus 1. And from the uh, radiation shield to the second plate, sigma into T3 to the power 4 minus T2 to the power 4 divided by 1 by epsilon 3 2 uh, plus 1 by epsilon 2 minus 1. Uh, and now substituting the values. Uh, 5.67 10 power minus 8 uh, into 900 to the power 4 minus T3 to the power 4 divided by 1 by 0 0.8 plus 1 by 0 0.2 minus 1 is equal to 5.67 10 power minus 8 uh, into T3 to the power 4 minus 300 to the power 4 divided by 1 by 0 0.2 plus 1 by 0 0.6 minus 1. And uh, 5.67 10 power minus 8 is common both uh, numerator of the two sides that is getting cancelled. I cancel it and uh, calculating uh, this will be 0 0.19 into 900 to the power 4 minus t3 to the power 4 uh, this is equal to 0 0.176 into t3 to the power 4 minus 300 to the power 4 and uh, rearranging the terminology this is 1.08 into 900 to the power 4 uh, uh, plus 300 to the power 4 this is equal to uh, t3 to the power 4 plus 1.08 t3 to the power 4 which is 2.083 to the power 4. So, simplifying the temperature T3 equal to 766 Kelvin. The shield temperature is 766 Kelvin. And the answers are the reduction of the heat transfer is 16,149.7 watts and the temperature of the shield T3 equal to 766 Kelvin. And example number 21. Consider two long parallel plates, one at 800 Kelvin with emissivity of 0.9 other at 300 kilometer with the emissivity of 0 0.6, 
the radiation shield having equal emissivity of epsilon 3 on both side is inserted between the parallel plates. Calculate the emissivity of the radiation shield in order to reduce the radiative heat transfer between the two plates uh, to 10 percentage of that without radiation shield. So, the given data epsilon 1 equal to 0 0.9, emissivity of the first plate is 0 0.9, emissivity of the second plate is 0 0.6 and temperature of the first plate is 800 Kelvin, temperature of the second plate is 300 Kelvin. The amount of heat transfer uh, with the shield Q dash equal to 0 0.1 times of the radiation heat transfer without the shield. So, Q is the heat transfer without the shield and the Q dash is the heat transfer uh, with the shield. The heat transfer without the shield, radiation shield, uh, this is a Q by A equal to sigma into T1 to the power 4 minus T2 to the power 4 divided by 1 by epsilon 1 plus 1 by epsilon 2 minus 1. Uh, this is 5.67 10 power minus 8 into 800 to the power 4 minus 300 to the power 4 divided by 1 by 0.9 plus 1 by 0.6 minus 1. So, calculating this is 12,805.4 watts per meter square. And the radiation heat transfer with the radiation shield, so Q dash equal to uh, 0.1 times of the Q by A, which is 0.1 times of 12,805.4 is equal to 1,280.54 watts per meter square Kelvin. Now, the radiation heat transfer with the shield, Q dash by A equal to substituting all the values, equals sigma into T1 to the power 4 minus T2 to the power 4 divided by uh, 1 by epsilon 1 plus 1 by epsilon 2 minus 1 plus 2 by epsilon 3 minus 1 and uh, 5.67 10 power minus 8 into 800 to the power 4 minus 300 to the power 4 uh, divided, by, uh, divided by 1 by 0 0.9 plus 1 by 0.6 minus 1 uh, plus 2 by epsilon 3 minus 1 is equal to 1280.54 watts per meter square. And uh, calculating, simplifying, so this is the mathematical steps. So, you just listen to the steps. So, I am taking the Numer calculating the numerator, dividing by the denominator that gives the, the this value go to the right side 1 by 0 0.9 plus 1 by 0 0.6 minus 1 plus 2 by epsilon 3 equal to 1. So, this is 17.777 and this resistance is 1.777 1 uh, 2 by epsilon 3 minus 1. So, 2 by epsilon 3 equal to 17 and the epsilon 3 equal to 0 0.12. Emissivity of the radiation shield is 0 0.12. And the, the answer is emissivity of the radiation should be epsilon 3 equal to 0 0.12. And we take example number 22, two coaxial cylinders of inner radius 5 centimeter and, uh, end, and the outer radius 15 centimeter which are maintained at 1000 Kelvin and 300 Kelvin respectively. The emissivity of the surface are 0.6 and 0 0.9 respectively. The first surface inner cylinder 0 0.6 and outer cylinder 0 0.9. Calculate the radiation heat exchange between the two cylinders per meter length of the cylinder. A radiation shield of radius 10 centimeter uh, having emissivity 0.1 is placed coaxially between the cylinders. Calculate the heat exchange between the cylinders and equilibrium temperature of the shield. So, from the data given, radius of the inner cylinder is 5 centimeter which is 0 0.05 meter. Radius of the outer cylinder is 15 centimeter which is 0 0.15 meter. Radius of the shield cylinder is at 10 centimeter which is 0 0.1 meter. Temperature of the inner cylinder is 1000 Kelvin, T1 equal to 1000 Kelvin. Temperature of the outer cylinder T2 equal to uh, 300 Kelvin. Emissivity of the inner cylinder epsilon 1 equal to 0 0.6, epsilon 2 equal to 0 0.9 and emissivity of the shield epsilon 3 equal to 0 0.1. So, the area of the inner cylinder per meter length uh, A1 equal to 2 pi R1 into L which is 2 into 3.14 into 0 0.05 into 1 equal to 0 0.314 meter square and the area of the outer cylinder per meter length equal to A2 equal to 2 pi R2 into L uh, this equal to 2 into 3.14 into 0 0.15 into 1 equal to 9.942 meter square. Now, the heat exchange between the cylinders without the shield is equal to uh, A1 into sigma into T1 to the power 4 minus T2 to the power 4 divided by 1 by epsilon 1 uh, plus A1 by A2 into 1 by epsilon 2 minus 1. Uh, calculate is absolute time. Area is A1 equal to 0 0.314, sigma equal to 5.61 10 power minus 8, 1000 to the power 4 minus 300 to the power 4, uh, divided by 1 by epsilon 1 0.6 plus A1 equal to 0 0.314, divided by A2 equal to 0 0.942, 
into 1 by 0.9 minus 1 is equal to 10,365.4 watts. And the area of the radiation shield per meter length A3 equal to 2 pi R3 into L uh, which is 2 into 3.14 into 0.14 this is equal to 0.628 meter square. Now the heat exchange with the shield, heat exchange with the shield, uh, this uh, uh, equation heat exchange with the shield for, uh, between the inner and the outer cylinder with radiation shield, uh, this Q equal to A1 sigma into T1 to the power 4 minus T2 to the power 4 divided by uh, 1 by epsilon 1 plus A1 by A2 into 1 by epsilon 2 minus 1 plus A1 by A3 into 1 by epsilon 3 1 plus 1 by epsilon 3 2 minus 1. Uh, this gives 0 0.314 uh, into 5.67 10 power minus 8 into 1000 to the power 4 minus 300 to the power 4 divided by 1 by epsilon is 1 by 0 0.6 plus 0 0.314 divided by 0 0.942 into 1 by 0 0.9 minus 1 plus 0 0.314 divided by 0 0.628 into 2 by 0 0.1 minus 1 is equal to 1576.2 watts. And uh, to calculate the equilibrium temperature of the shield, so the we take the two term uh, from the first cylinder, inner, innermost cylinder to the radiation shield cylinder, this is the heat transfer and from the shield cylinder to the uh, outer cylinder this is the heat transfer so a1 sigma into t1 to the power 4 minus t3 t3 to the power 4 divided by 1 by epsilon 1 plus a1 by a3 into 1 by epsilon 3 1 minus 1 is equal to uh, a3 by a3 sigma into t3 to the power 4 minus t2 to the power 4 divided by 1 by epsilon 3 2 plus a3 by a2 into uh, 1 by epsilon 2 minus 1 so this is the uh, equation and the substituting uh, 0.314 into 5.67 in 10 power minus 8 to 1000 to the power 4 minus t, t3 to the power 4 divided by 1 by 0.6 plus 0 0.314 divided by 0 0.628 uh, into 1 by uh, 0.1 minus 1 uh, this is equal to uh, 0.628 equal to 0.628 a3 equal to 0.628 into 5.67 10 power minus 8 into t3 to the power 4 minus 300 to the power 4 divided by 1 by 0.1 uh, plus uh, 0.628 divided by uh, 0.942 into 1 by 0.9 minus 1. So, this 5.67 10 power minus 8 is common both numerator it is getting cancelled I cancelled it and I calculated the value and it, it is 0.05254 into 1000 to the power 4 minus t3 to the power 4 is equal to 0.06234 into t3 to the power 4 minus 300 to the power 4. Numerically solving this equation I will get T3 to the power 4 equal to 5.412710 10 power 12 and that gives T3 equal to 824.3 Kelvin. So the heat exchange between the cylinders without the shield is 10,365.4 watts. The heat exchange between the cylinders with the radiation shield it is 1,576.2 watts and the equilibrium temperature of the shield it is 824.3 Kelvin. So, we are using only simple arithmetic calculation. Uh, you can even give a pass to the uh, video and you can uh, using your calculator you can verify the calculation and uh, uh, get familiar, familiar on the calculation process. Example 23, uh, consider two concentric spheres, the inner sphere uh, has a diameter of 0.4 meter and is maintained at uh, 600 Kelvin. The outer sphere has a diameter of 0.6 meter and maintained at 400 Kelvin and the emissivity of emissivity are 0 0.9 and 0 0.1 respectively. Determine the total radiation heat transfer between the spheres. And the radi area of the inner sphere 4 pi r1 square which is 4 into 3.14 into 0 0.2 square which is 0 0.503 meter square and the area of the outer sphere is a2 equal to 4 pi r2 square which is 4 into 3.14 into 0 0.3 square uh, which is 1.31 meter square. The radiation heat transfer between the two spheres Q equal to A1 sigma uh, into T1 to the power 4 minus T2 to the power 4 uh, divided by 1 by epsilon 1 into uh, plus A1 by A2 into 1 by epsilon 2 minus 1 uh, substituting 0 0.503 into uh, 5.61 10 power minus 8 into 600 to the power 4 minus 400 to the power 4 divided by uh, 1 by 0 0.9 plus 0 0.503 divided by 1.31 into 1 by 0.1 minus 1 equal to 649.5 watts.
So the radiation heat transfer between the spheres is 649.5 watts. And we take the example 24, a spherical tank of radius 0.25 meter a contained liquid oxygen is enclosed inside another spherical tank of radius 0.4 meter and the space between them evacuated. The inner and the outer spheres are maintained at 90 Kelvin to 280 Kelvin respectively. Both the spheres have the emissivity of 0 0.05. Uh, calculate the rate of heat transfer uh, from to the inner sphere and the rate of evap evaporation of the liquid oxygen. Uh, take HFG equal to 2.5 into 10 power 5 joules per kilogram Kelvin for oxygen, latent heat of evaporation for the oxygen. So, the given data. So, the inner radius, uh, uh, radius of the inner sphere is 0.25 meter, radius of the outer sphere is 0.4 meter, uh, temperature of the inner sphere is 90 Kelvin, temperature of the outer sphere is 280 Kelvin, epsilon 1 equal to epsilon 2 equal to 0 0.05 and the H of G, latent heat of evaporation is 2.5 and 10 power 5 joules per kilogram Kelvin. And the area of the inner sphere 4 pi r 1 square which is 4 into 3.14 into 0.25 square which is 0 0.7854 meter square. Area of the outer sphere equal to A2, A2 equal to 4 pi r 2 square which is 4 into 3.14 into 0.4 square which is 2.01 meter square. The radiation heat transfer between the spheres uh, Q equal to uh, A1 into sigma T1 to the power 4 minus T2 to the power 4 divided by 1 by epsilon 1 plus A1 by A2 by A1 by A2 into 1 by epsilon 2 minus 1, uh, substituting 0.7854 A1, 5.61 10 power minus 8 sigma, 90 to the power 4 minus 280 to the power 4 divided by 1 by 0 0.05 uh, plus 0 0.7854 divided by 2.01 uh, into 1 by 0 0.05 minus 1 that is equal to minus 10.22 watts. Uh, the minus sign signifies the heat is transferred from the outer sphere to the inner sphere. So, this is the equation for the heat transfer from the inner sphere to the outer sphere and the minus n uh, signifies the heat is transferred from the outer sphere to the inner sphere and the mass of the oxygen evaporated m equal to q by h of g which is 10.22 divided by 2.5 in 10 power 5 equal to 4.088 into 10 power minus 5 kilograms per second or 0.147 kilograms per hour. And the answer for the problem, the heat transfer rate to the inner sphere is 10.22 watts and the rate of evaporation of the liquid oxygen is uh, 0.147 kilograms per hour. And uh, example 25, uh, this is from my university question paper in November 2016. A thin aluminum sheet with emissivity of 0.1 on both sides is placed between the two very large parallel plates. Uh, that are maintained at a uniform temperature of 800 Kelvin and uh, 500 Kelvin and they have emissivity of uh, 0.2 and 0.7 respectively. Determine the net rate of heat transfer uh, between the two plates per unit surface area of the plate and uh, compare the result with that, uh, to that value uh, without the radiation shield. And the given data epsilon 1 equal to 0.2, epsilon 2 equal to 0.7 and epsilon 3 uh, equal to 0 0.1, uh, T1 equal to 800 Kelvin and T2 equal to 500 Kelvin. The radiation heat transfer uh, without the radiation shield. Uh, this is Q by A equal to sigma into T1 to the power 4 minus T2 to the power 4 uh, divided by 1 by epsilon 1 plus 1 by epsilon 2 minus 1. Uh, substituting 5.61 10 power minus 8 into 800 to the power 4 minus 500 to the power 4. Uh, divided by 1 by 0.2 plus 1 by 0 0.7 minus 1. This is 3625.37 watts per meter square. And the heat transfer, the radiation heat transfer uh, with the shield uh, Q dash by A equal to sigma into T1 to the power 4 minus T2 to the power 4 divided by the emissivity is 1 by epsilon 1 plus 1 by epsilon 2 minus 1 plus 1 by epsilon 3 1 plus 1 by epsilon 3 2 minus 1 this is equal to uh, 5.67 10 power minus 8 multiplied by 800 to, the, 800 to the power 4 minus 500 to the power 4 and substituting the emissivity in the denominator 1 by 0.2 plus 1 by 0 0.7 minus 1 plus 1 by 0 0.1 plus 1 by 0 0.1 minus 1 that is 805.63 watts per meter square. So, the heat exchange without shield is 3625.37 watts and heat exchange 
with the shield it is 805.63 watts and uh, example number 26 this is also from university question paper november 2017 uh, calculate the net radiation uh, heat exchange per meter square area for two large parallel plates of temperature 427 degrees celsius and 27 degrees celsius respectively the emissivity of the hot plate is 0 0.9 and the cold plate is 0 0.6 if the polished aluminum shield is placed between them find the percentage reduction in the heat transfer if the emissivity of the shield is 0 0.4 and the given data t1 temperature of the first plate is 427 degrees celsius which is 700 kelvin uh, uh, temperature of the second plate is 27 degrees Celsius with 300 Kelvin. Mm, emissivity of the first plate is 0.9, emissivity of the second plate is 0.6, and emissivity of the shield equal to 0.4 on both sides. The heat transfer without the radiation shield, you take the equation Q by A equal to uh, sigma into T1 to the power 4 minus T2 to the power 4 divided by 1 by epsilon 1 plus 1 by epsilon 2 uh, minus 1, which is 5.67 to the power minus 8 into 700 to the power 4 minus 300 to the power 4 uh, divided by 1 by 0 0.9 plus 1 by 0 0.6 minus 1 which is 7399.35 watts per meter square and the heat transfer with the radiation shield this is q dash by a equal to the same equation sigma into t1 to the power 4 minus t2 to the power 4 divided by emissivity of all the shield uh, 1 by epsilon 1 plus 1 by epsilon 2 minus 1 plus 1 by epsilon 3 1 plus 1 by epsilon 3 2 minus 1 uh, substitute in the numerical values in the numerator 5.67 to the power minus 8 into 700 to the power 4 minus 300 to the power 4 uh, divided by 1 by 0 0.9 plus 1 by 0 0.6 minus 1 plus so for the shield 1 by 0 0.4 plus 1 by 0 0.4 minus 1 uh, calculating it is 2276.72 watts per meter square and the percentage of heat reduction q minus q dash divided by q into 100 equal to uh, 7399.35 minus 2276.72 divided by uh, 7399.35 into 100 which is 69.23 percentage the answer to the problem the percentage of heat reduction uh, percentage uh, percentage reduction of the heat transfer is 69.23 percentage so we stop here uh, uh, these are all the reference books I used for the subject and uh, you can refer to it and this is my, uh, the, the book published by me uh, long back and you can refer to this book for uh, additional problems on the topic uh, published by Anuradha Publication Chennai and you can write to me uh, to my mail ID for any queries, clarification and doubts. I will clarify it uh, immediately. So, thank you. We will meet again.